What is up guys, it's a Puppy and I got a little bit of something different for you guys today. Today we are bringing you a 8v8 Conquest on Scene Crossing competitive match, SOA versus KSI here, and we got ourselves a little bit of a different viewpoint here. We have Nero on the main screen, and the man, the legend, the tank beast himself, Anarchy Super V up in the top left hand corner of the screen as uh, Nero goes ahead and immediately starts picking guys off a D here. Absolute pinpoint precision right there, and uh... I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that we are going to be swapping back and forth between the main viewpoints here just to kind of make sure we have an overall uh, good feeling of how the gameplay goes. And uh, just to give you guys a general idea of how well synced up that this video is, uh, you will go ahead and see Super V driving on by Nero right here. And uh, this is not a live shoutcast that I am doing for you guys. This is a post-game shoutcast. I would like to get into the shoutcast thing, but I, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. I hope it's entertaining to you guys. Uh, I digress. Uh, you still see SOA jostling for position here because in competition gameplay, positioning is, initial positioning is one of the big key factors right here. We're swapping over to Super B who spots himself some people down in A. He's gotten that flank right there. Go ahead and picks up a nice little two-piece and they're going to go ahead and continue pushing A. Get some hit markers on in that building right there and uh, goes ahead and looks up there. Looks like the guy's backed off a bit and uh, want to... Super V's tank guys is going to go ahead in there and clean up that kill while Super V goes ahead and hops on the flag burn right here. Uh, like I said though, initial positioning, making sure that you are one of the first people to grab those flags is huge in competitive play. It's, it's one of those things where if you can set up and you can set up well, you can get that wall going and make the rest of the game an easy match. We're going to go ahead and swap over to Nero though as things are kind of dying down with Super V there. And we have Nero who is pushing a C right now and it looks like he spots a guy trying to take the flanks of D. Picks him off real nice and uh, uses this little bit of billboard right here for a little bit of cover. Spots himself another guy. Takes him out really quick here. Has to pull back reload. Spots himself a laser sight. Ducks back behind that cover and uh, uses his just superior pinpoint accuracy to take that guy out as well. So Nero's going to go ahead and push back to the burning bus right here and take a peek on in to see to see what he can see. And uh, I got to say this is a nice little piece of cover right here. You can see him. He's taking shots on there. He's getting guys that are trying to take the D flank. He's able to see all the way over there to Zigzag. He's actually, this kill right here, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he was heading towards Zigzag, and he's still taking down guys. Looks like somebody's actually trying to outpeak Nero, which is not a good idea, not advised, as Nero goes ahead and cleans him up with the uh, 93R here. Nero's going to go ahead and say, I right, we've, we've taken out enough guys. We're going to go ahead and push into C here, and uh, he heads up to the second floor C building here and spots himself, Captain Oblivious, and takes out another guy who just runs in those bullets for a nice little two-piece right there. Decides, uh, all right, time to head back downstairs, help out teammates on the burn, spots another guy down on the bottom floor, and here's one more guy right behind him here, takes him out, and uh, spots one more guy up in the building right here, goes ahead and tries to take him out as well, but unfortunately is not able to pull it off. Now, up in the top hat, left hand corner of the screen here, we have Super V who has moved himself into the position of the spawn trap. And when, like I've, I've said many, many times before, in competitive play, spawn trapping is okay. It's all about being cutthroat because it's all about getting that big W, all about bringing down the win. And uh, yeah, it's just, ooh, that was a brutal shot right there. I would, you know, I would really hate to catch a shot like that. I mean, I, I can't even imagine. But uh, again, it's it's one of those things where you, you want to make sure you have the positioning. As you can see, that uh, SOA is close, slowly closing in on that vice grip uh, here while uh, Super V waits to pick up his tank. Ruth throws down some rubble and almost almost clips a few teammates there, it looks like. Uh, that's all right, though. It didn't, didn't actually get anybody. And uh, it's going to continue to try to rubble down over there. It, it's it's using that rubble a very nice idea right there. I, I quite enjoy that. He's, he's uh, very... Very nice. Uh, so we're, we're going to go ahead and swap back over to Nero, who's seen some action over here on D. He picks up himself one piece, two piece right there, taking it down. He's going to go ahead and push up the stairs here, it looks like, for the spawn trap, because as I said, no mercy. And uh, spots himself, a guy that goes down behind him, decides to go ahead and come back here to see what's going on. Spots himself by the BM count, goes ahead and throws some shots down there, but it looks like a teammate went ahead and cleaned him up. So he's going to go ahead and push back to the stairs here and try to, like I said, enable that spawn trap. Spawn trapping is huge in this. We're going to go ahead and swap back over to Super V while you see Nura up here who's actually pushing into the enemy spawn to grab the tank. Now, we all know that he's not going to make it out, but in competitive play, if you think about it, what's the quickest way to destroy it? But by hopping in and making the suicide timer count you, and, uh, count you out and destroy it for you. Absolutely smart play right there. Very smart play. And uh, we have Super V who is still doing his best to go ahead and control the spawn area right here and uh, it looks like he's putting in a good bit of work making sure that nobody gets by basically just shooting fish in a barrel here and it looks like some people have gotten by though as Nero spawns up on C and it looks like he picks off one guy right there spots two more picks up another piece and uh, it has a little bit of trouble aiming at this guy here but goes ahead and cleans him up with a 93R very nice shooting right there uh, those guys are about as helpless as Helen Keller 
it's, it's, yeah, it's just ridiculous, the accuracy that Nero has, and, uh, yeah, to prove my point right there, do you see that? That was insane, that was, I don't think he missed a shot right there. And, uh, we got Nero who's gonna go ahead and post up behind Bob Roth here, and, uh, Super V has to go ahead and pull back because somebody went ahead and slipped by, he goes ahead and pops him in the old tin can there, and, uh, cleans up that guy that's sneaking by and says, I don't think so, we got this map on lock right now. And uh, they are just continuing to hold this four cap and uh, just being absolutely brutal about it. And I love it. It is awesome. Uh, that's not to say that I, I don't feel a little bad for the other team, but it's still, you, you got to give it your all. And uh, just Super V is go ahead and pick up two guys that are going to throw some RPGs his way. He says that ain't no thing because I got my repair crew here with me as they uh, go ahead and start to hop out. And it looks like they're, well, maybe they're not hopping out. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, but we have uh, Super V here. Yeah, there they are. Now they're hopping out. Now they're repairing. <laughs> so we have Super V here waiting on his repairs. And uh, we have Nero here up in the top left who is going ahead and continue pushing up there. And it looks like ooh, Super V almost rubbles his teammates again there. And uh, uh, good thing Friendly Fire is not on. Otherwise, he would have just totally nailed that guy. As the enemy tank goes ahead and pushes out a spawn and a little bit of RPG spam as well. And it looks like uh, Super V went ahead and took down the uh, one of the rep guys. There are more RPGs coming their way. And Super V's crew is out and repping him and making sure he is staying up. It looks like that tank finally went down. I didn't quite catch it. Maybe that, that 120 that I... I I thought was a uh, rep kill was actually the tank kill. I could have been mistaken there. I apologize for that. Uh, we still have Super V putting in some work here as guys are just pushing him and he's uh, just denying, denying, denying everywhere, all over the place. Just all sorts of denial. It is, it is great. And he's back to using that, uh, back to using that rubble mechanic to go ahead and throw some stuff down there, throw some rubble down there to kill out anybody that may have been in there. And uh, someone just straight up charges him. I don't know what that guy was thinking, but we're gonna go ahead and swap back over to Nero here, who is just spotting himself some people out in spawn. Takes a nice little pick right there. It looks like he's about to get a two piece. Not quite. Has to pull back, drop down for a reload as he starts to get suppressed. And uh, this is a uh, very good spot to set up if you guys ever uh, happen to find yourself in this situation where you're able to get this spawn trap. I will say, though, that it's not the easiest thing in the world because, in my opinion, when you're playing on the American side, you are at a bit, bit of a disadvantage because the Russian side is up the hill. And it's not just in real life that the uh, hill advantage and height advantage plays a role. It's also in video games such as Battlefield 3 where height advantage does play a big role. But Sons of Anarchy shows their brute force and brute strength in uh, basically just saying, we don't care that you have height advantage. We're going to go ahead and stomp all over you anyway. And uh, yeah, Nero spots himself a down teammate back here, has to pull back and get the revive. Throw himself down a med kit there and going in for a reload. Spot some guys that have pushed up and uh, go ahead and cleans them up real nice. Get that revive back in there. Goes ahead and throws in another reload uh, just because you got to make sure that that gun is fresh at all times and it's back to looking in the spawn. They spot the tank that is now up. Nero can't do much about it, but you see Super V up there in the top left who's uh, starting to put in work on it. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on him as he goes ahead and finishes off that tank right there. And as you guys are seeing here, this match is about wrapped up. We have SOA, who has about a 200 ticket lead now, and in competitive play, that is nigh impossible to catch up from, especially against the likes of SOA, who are just known for absolutely dominating the battlefield here. And uh, we have Super V, who's going to go ahead and pull back and uh, make sure he can try and try and uh, capture that flawless competitive gameplay, make sure he ensures it, make sure it happens, and... Uh, we have it's, it's like I said this game's about wrapping up I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of commentary I enjoyed doing this I I thoroughly enjoy shoutcasting and uh, that is GG you guys I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, make sure to click that subscribe button I will catch you all guys later this is puppy out peace